Competitive Eschatology Splinters Secure Facility Dossier Reliquary Area 27 SCP Foundation Secure Facility Dossier Reliquary Area 27 Official Designation SCP Foundation Theological Research and Emergency Deific Subjugation Facility Area Identification Code CAONOT Area 27 General Information Founded 24 May 1994 Founding Director Dr. Vivian August Location Ottawa, Ontario, Canada Cover Story The St. Notre Dame Cathedral Basilica Site Function Research and Development Specialized Containment Task Force Deployment Emergency Personnel Quartering Administrative Size Total Land Area of 3.81 Square Kilometers Image Reliquary Area 27 Offices and Wings Main Level Front Building The St. Notre Dame Cathedral Basilica Main Offices Subterranean Level 1 Administrative Mobile Task Force Deployment A Wing Subterranean Level 1 Staff Dormitories Medical Center Temple B Wing Subterranean Level 1 Research Wing Low Security Artifact Storage C Wing Subterranean Level 2 D Class Dormitories D Wing Subterranean Level 2 Anomalous Weapons Storage Apiaries E Wing Subterranean Level 2 Medium Security Holding Wing F Wing Subterranean Level 3 Omniscience Concealed Bunker Secure Living Quarters G Wing Subterranean Level 3 Sustainable Agriculture Center H Wing Subterranean Level 3 Blessed Water Silos High Value Containment Wing I Wing Subterranean Level 4 Level 4 Security Clearance Required Staffing Information Site Director Dr. Lilith Asimov Assistant Site Director Dr. Oliver Galvin Assistant Director of Personnel Darnell Fortin Assistant Director of Facilities Penelope Locke Assistant Director of Research Dr. Marcus Bouchard Assistant Director of Containment, Dr. Randall Bannock. Assistant Director of Security, Agent Consuelo Guerrero. Assistant Director of Task Forces, Agent Claudia Su Hu. On Site Theology Consultant, Yossi Lena. On Site Psychologist, Dr. Veronica Playa. On-site personnel. Department heads. Eleven. Staff doctors. Forty-seven. Staff researchers. One hundred fifteen. Administrative personnel. Thirty-six. Maintenance or janitorial. Twenty-nine. Security personnel. Seventy-one. D class, 23. Other personnel, 57. Image, Director Lilith Asimov. Additional information. Conceived in 1987, the land concealing reliquary area 27 was originally purchased from the Canadian government to conceal a minor anomalous phenomenon associated with the St. Notre Dame Cathedral Basilica. Formerly designated EE00915, 
the cathedral was found to have been within the vicinity of several minor reconstructive events, although it remained unaffected according to Foundation Exclusionary Archives. After a proposal by the then burgeoning Department of Tactical Theology, the subterranean portion of Reliquary Site 27 was constructed to serve as a secure site for Foundation personnel in the case of a large-scale K-class scenario. Following construction, Reliquary Area 27 was mainly used as a temporary Foundation housing while being maintained by a skeleton crew of 60 to 100 personnel. It wasn't until the discovery and subsequent utilization of SCP-4531-2 that the site took on the containment of several religious anomalies. As of the time of documentation, Reliquary Area 27 is capable of housing and sustaining up to 2,000 individuals. The site possesses minimal containment chambers, instead transferring most anomalies off-site for containment. All anomalies contained on site have been chosen due to their benefits in the case of a severe deific crisis. Reliquary Area 27 also acts as headquarters of the Department of Tactical Theology. Headed by Yossi Lena, the department is responsible for assisting in the capture, containment, and potential neutralization of theological anomalies. Members of the department are often deployed to various compounds to act as liaisons. Examples of such deployments include Eventual containment of SCP-4795 Continued monitoring and containment of SCP-5998 Reintroduction of theological containment methods into standard foundation operations Investigation and reclassification of SCP-3310 Provision of various anomalous armaments and weaponry for task force operations. Input level for security key. Access granted. Located on the bottom floor of the facility is an emergency failsafe capable of performing a complete decontamination of any theological entities within the site. The failsafe is only accessible through a secure hatch within the anomalous weapons storage, which can be activated using a passcode possessed by all Level 4 personnel. Note, floor is colloquially referred to as Cleopatra's tomb by site personnel. Once the failsafe is activated, remote Akiva charges built within the site apiaries will detonate, releasing their swarms throughout the site while exciting the swarms through sudden Akiva exposure. Alarm pheromones will be spread throughout the site through concealed ventilation systems, further aggravating the insects. Furthermore, prepared stores of SCP-5993-1 will be pumped into the emergency sprinkler system, nullifying any potential deific threats or phenomena still located within the compound. Note. Swarms are composed of both SCP-5993 colonies and non-anomalous honeybees. Following activation, the nearest operational foundation compound will be notified of the failsafe's activation. Stationary Task Force Beta-14 jumping over bonfires is to be mobilized to aid in the recovery of surviving personnel, retrieval of anomalies, and subsequent beekeeping efforts. Incidents. Minor targeted CK class restructuring scenario. October 1997. Several high visibility religious locations, including Reliquary Area 27's cover building, were repeatedly affected by a targeted retrocausal anomaly. This resulted in severe alterations to their structures, namely artistic works and architecture. Historical records of targeted locations were found to lack any record of humankind between the 18th and 19th century. Accounts instead focused on the theological developments of entities referred to as the Beneath, who supposedly lived in large interconnected cave systems. Event status resolved. Publicly accessible records have been altered accordingly to fit the public consensus regarding affected locations. No further mentions of the Beneath in historical accounts have been found, 
and no evidence of the supposed cave systems has been discovered. Attempted takeover by hostile group of interest. April 2002. Members of GOI-0051 Sapphire attempted to raid Reliquary Area 27 in an attempt to procure an unspecified anomalous object. Prior to this, the group was observed transporting several unknown artifacts, although none of these objects were observed during the raid. During the raid, severe damage was inflicted on the site's exterior, although the subterranean site remained unscathed following standard Foundation lockdown procedures. Event status resolved. Sapphire operatives were subdued and subsequently interrogated. The operatives showed no apparent knowledge of Reliquary Area 27 or any Foundation presence within the area, and were under the impression the Cathedral itself housed a powerful religious artifact. Operatives were amnesticized, implanted with fake memories, and released as to reduce suspicion. Class 4 Religious Neutralization Event February 2014 for approximately 14 hours, theological containment procedures within the Northern Hemisphere experienced a sudden decline in effectiveness. This drop was found to correlate with the disturbance of SCP-5998 following a partial collapse of Provisional Outpost 5998 during a storm. Attempts to fix this issue were temporarily delayed by the continued manifestation of Empyrean entities around the corpse. Event status resolved. 45 containment breaches and over 168 casualties have been attributed to this drop in effectiveness. Provisional Outpost 5998 has since been rebuilt and further reinforced against inclement weather. 1 1 Incomplete draft available. View draft. Viewing draft. Widespread HK class deific subjugation event. November 2020. An unknown number of demiurgic entities currently estimated to exceed 250, including those in foundation containment or otherwise incapacitated, simultaneously attempted to wipe out the human race through individual methods. These entities have since engaged in combat with both one another and humanity at large, resulting in mass fatalities worldwide. Event status currently ongoing. An Omega-class emergency shelter procedure is now in effect, pending further contact with allied organizations. Mm -hmm.